By a paper-thin margin on Capitol Hill, the House votes to let the government get $2 trillion more in debt. Some House leaders and conservative Democrats say the only way the increase is tolerable is by coupling it with a pay-as-you-go rule. Joining us now with more on all of this and other top news from Capitol Hill is the House Majority Leader, Congressman Steny Hoyer of Maryland. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Allison. Good to be with you. Well, uh, my co and I, first of all, want to know if there's anything Congress can do to stop all this snow from coming this weekend. Well, if there was, we'd be a lot more popular. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's out of the way. Uh, let, let's talk about the, uh, the House yesterday uh, passing this uh, $1.9 trillion more. Uh, basically, in essence, it boils down to some $6,000 for each American. My question is, how do you sell this to the American public during these hard times? Well, of course, the vote yesterday was simply not to incur additional debt, but to pay the debt that we have incurred. Uh, and uh, over the last decade, we've gone deeply into debt. Uh, we were $5.6 trillion in surplus projected for, for those 10 years. And in fact, unfortunately, over the last 10 years, uh, policies led to uh, very substantial deficits. Uh, we owe the money, and, and we got to pay it. So that's all the vote was yesterday, not to incur a new debt, uh, but to pay the old debt. Uh, now, going forward, of course, for the first time uh, in a decade, we have reinstated statutory pay-go, which simply says, look, you got to pay for what you buy and not pass the cost along to the next generation. Uh, in the five times during the last decade or six times that we upped the debt, there was no fiscal constraint attached to it. Yesterday, uh, as you point out, we adopted uh, a provision which will provide some constraints, some discipline to spending, uh, to try to bring spending down. When that was in effect in the 90s, we created uh, the, the most historic run of surpluses that we'd had in this country in my lifetime. So uh, yesterday was a day uh, dedicated fiscal discipline, frankly. And going forward, the president has indicated we're going to freeze domestic discretionary spending. Uh, he's also indicated he's going to appoint a commission to look at how we can uh, take further steps uh, to bring this deficit down, which we need to do. And just to catch everyone up, that PAYGO uh, legislation allows Congress to send pieces of legislation to the president's desk one at a time for approval. Well, one at a time for approval as well. Uh, but what it really does was it says if you're going to spend money on mandatory spending or you're going to cut revenues, uh, you got to make it a zero-sum game. You got to pay for what you what you buy, uh, so that you're not simply asking somebody down the line, uh, some of the younger people, who uh, uh, to pay that debt. So uh, it's a it's a step uh, to reinstate fiscal responsibility, which, as I said, in the 90s, uh, enacted uh, with George Bush the first. Uh, and the Congress agreeing, and then secondly, with, in 1997, Newt Gingrich and Bill Clinton and the Congress agreeing, uh, which led us to substantial surpluses. We want to return to that uh, era of discipline. I want to um, jump to health care now because that is, uh, for such a long time, it was right at the forefront of what we were talking about. Now it seems to be on the back burner a little bit. You're quoted on the post as saying the House leadership is waiting for the Senate to come to you with a compromise and uh, that they're promise to make. Where do we stand right now? Is this a dead issue right now? Uh, what's the status? Allison, it is definitely not a dead issue. We have uh, uh, and continue to believe that uh, getting health care costs under control for families and businesses and for our nation is absolutely essential. Making access to affordable quality health care for all Americans is, is essential not only for individuals but for the health of our nation. So uh, we continue to work on that. We're working between the House and the Senate. Uh, but as you know, we're also very focused on jobs, job creation, uh, economic growth in, in our uh, communities and in our country. Uh, we know that people are hurting throughout this land uh, without jobs, and we've got to get jobs moving. In addition, as we did yesterday, our focus going forward is going to be fiscal discipline. So our challenge is to grow the economy, but at the same time uh, ensure fiscal uh, responsibility might be easier to stop Mother Nature indeed, Congressman. <laughs> we, we appreciate you spending some time with us today. Uh, Steny Hoyer, House Majority Leader from the Thank fine state so of much. Maryland as well. Thank you. Thank you, Allison.